Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are at RSPB uh, Newport Wetlands. Newport is in South Wales, so all the signs are in Welsh, it's pretty cool. Welsh first, then English. Um, but on the website, apparently there are bearded tits. Very cool looking kind of bird. And shovelers, very unique beak. You can guess why they're named shovelers. So we should be able to see at least one or two very interesting and different things here today. Anyway, that's enough intro. Let's see what we find. It's not that windy today. That's pretty good. <laughs> they had a lot of bird feeders up right in front of the entrance. They had little sparrows, great tits, everything. But the people at the sign-in desk, guys, I was trying to get my camera out right in front and then just film the little birds. We've got signs up everywhere. Let's get a look at one. Time to explore. We are here. So, looks like a pretty big area, there'll be lots to see. We're on the coastal trail now. There's quite a few people here because it's Sunday. During the week it'd probably be even quieter. So it's not even that busy really right now. Wow, there's a lot of space around here. It's really gorgeous. And all these reeds. Severn Estuary. Our Severn Beach video is on the other side of this river. So we should expect to see some of the birds we saw there here. And I definitely recognize the shell ducks, oyster catchers, and curlew. Which little wading bird is that? Curlew sandpiper, maybe. I'm never sure. Let's have a look. There's a group of excited bird watchers over there. Trying not to get in their way. seen so far. Saw some sort of whitish looking ducks in the distance and they were shell ducks and they're gorgeous ducks. Very distinctive look to them. Rooting around in the estuary mud for bugs I presume. Little, I don't know if they eat crustaceans. But it was a nice start to see them and there are quite a few of them around. Little, little groupings of maybe four or five. And I saw a curlew out in the distance and facing towards the sun with the light reflecting off the water, which usually make for a terrible photograph. But I think it looks pretty ethereal. I think it looks good. I like that you can just see the silhouette of the curlew and his reflection. I'm actually quite fond of that one. I was pretty obsessed with him as we walked around the side of the coast. I saw him again, just alone, completely alone, going through the, through the mud. And when he lifts his feet up, they're covered in mud. So he's just like, like kids and wellies, <laughs> covered in mud. I also saw some distant ducks, but they were right by the shoreline. They could be potchard, possibly. Could be widgeon, sort of a chestnutty head. That's all I could tell from them. I don't quite have the equipment to see or get good pictures from very far away. 
and foolish me didn't bring binoculars when I certainly could have used them. Didn't have the guts to ask that big group of bird watchers with the fancy scopes and stuff what they were looking at. Some of them seemed to be looking in totally different directions. There might just be a group out in general looking for stuff. No, it's my bag. But we're on the coastal path. It should um, take apparently like up to an hour, two if we go all the way round and back again and do the proper full path. Ooh. I'm trying to hold you down here so the wind isn't too bad. I heard a, a call of a bird, you know, the, the call of frightened birds do, but I, I don't know how I knew, but I just knew it was a curlew. And I got my camera out and I didn't have time to fuss with the shutter speed setting, so it's not as crisp as I'd like, but there's a curlew in flight right there. I tell you, when we get the uh, funds for equipment here at sharpsartisan.com, there will be nature documentaries. There'll be niche documentaries coming out the wazoo. They'll be all over the... Let's go in there. We're the only people in here. Meant to be quiet and hide. Because the birds can come quite close sometimes, if you're lucky. On the board you can see who we might. See if we're lucky. You saw my clips from the nature reserve. No video because it was too windy, but we saw there's one clip of a little creep. And they're really lovely. People mistake them for ducklings. And oh, look at that. Mr. Stone Chat. Stone Chat's her favorite on this channel. And a reed bunting. I've seen one reed, reed bunting in my life and no picture, video, anything. So maybe that can be a goal for this year. Never seen a water rail either. So let's have a look. Who might be up there? Well, no luck at the first hide, but here's a sign for another hide. So we might just have more luck in there. Any inn. I think this is it. Let's see. You can look over the river. Yeah. Real quietly. Nothing at that height either. We're not getting very lucky today with the heights. Oh, there's a crow at the very top of this tree. I think it's a crow, not a rook. Still, I do love a good crow. Nice day outside. I thought I heard the buzzing of bugs, which I thought it was very early for in January. I'll show you the source of the buzzing. <laughs> Silly me. Big electrical pylons near us. I like a good pylon. I love a good structure. I love a good bit of engineering. Mm. You know what we could do one day? Oh, by the train station. I mean, we did by the train station, the area around it, at the train station. Oh, we could get pictures of pigeons there. Oh, that'd be nice. So this is who we'd see in the best case scenario. Bearded tits, also known as bearded weedlings. But this won't be the only time that we go here. I'm an RSPV member, so we can go here as often as we like. Let's 
swings with my audio. Okay, so we're here and we walked uh, this way, down and around, I think. So, I take a break and I'm tired of that walk. Yeah, go to the visitor center and then find sports to come. Okay, had a little rest in the visitor center, went to the bathroom, but I feel much better. So we may do the big walk around the other way. I'm gonna have a snack first and then some water so that we can get too tired. I tend to get a little fatigued sometimes. Don't take enough iron tablets. So as long as I pace myself, we should be good. Back again, still no one to see. We walked around the big path, sort of one half of the big coastal path, but the left side of it sort of. And now we're going to do the right side. Fatigue zero and Lexus two is what I'm saying. Let's have a quick look around here. Again, I'm not super hopeful, but not a soul. Round two, round two, round two. And we have to make sure we get back in time. One, before the car park locks us in, which is at 5 p.m., so not too worried about that. And more importantly, so that we can get bird pins. It's been ages since I expanded my collection. Okay, so I was going to follow that coastal path, but not behind me, the birds are even further away than on the other coastal path, so I think it's really unlikely we'll see anyone. And we're facing into the sun. So we can go check out. I don't want to walk all the way along the coastline just to not see birds. That would be no fun. And I'm a little concerned I'm not going to make it in time to get the bird pens. If we really don't see anything, I can always get. Um, oh! Oh, I got. Um, I saw a great spotted woodpecker. There was um, sort of a little quiet area with a bunch of bird feeders set up. There were some green finches there as well, a couple of them. I think there was a chaffinch. There's just about enough of a picture of a great spotted woodpecker to show you. He looks fantastic, full red crown, definitely a male. Gotta be, right? Gotta be. So I'll check these heads out in a second. You know, most of the people here uh, give you the polite little British. They give you that little, if, when they walk past you, or they give you the, the look down and I didn't see you. Uh, saw a guy with a massive scope walk by and give me a proper smile and a hello. And, the little things, you know. I said, uh, if he'd not been walking so quickly, I'd have uh, asked what he'd seen. But c'est la vie, you know, c'est la vie. Still no ducks. Dang it. Let's try this side. Dang it! Only beautiful landscapes. Man, this sucks. <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously. Look at that. This is a coal power station. And now it's been converted to wetlands. How cool is that? Who's that a picture of? A peregrine? You love to tell me. I'm not so good on my uh, bird spray. Man, I love the look of the power station. Isn't that great? I also love these wind turbines. There are a few around. They look amazing. I don't know what's down that path. The uh, little bird marker is pointing this way, though. So we should go this way. Oh my goodness. Oh, I was walking by. You see all this tall grass, all this tall weed everywhere. And someone flew right in front of my face and it was a reed bunting. And he stayed there. He stayed there picking up bits of the wheat in his beak. And I've got oh, best pictures of the day. Best thing, best sighting of the day so far. Absolutely incredible. That is a, that is a winner winner chicken dinner picture. Possibly one of the best bird photos I've ever taken. Wow. There's a family right behind me, so I didn't put the camera on right away, but my goodness. I, I'm very happy that I'm chuffed. 
didn't see anyone else walking around the paths. And he just flew. Clear as day, reed bunting. You couldn't, you don't get better than that. I took as many pictures as I could and then I tried to just slightly adjust my stance and he flew away. Picture of the day, picture of the month for certain. I suppose if you go out and about enough, you are bound to get lucky eventually. And, oh, I think that's a flock of green finches. Yep, green finches. All right, now bird bins. <laughs> Jackdaw, starling, and bearded reedling, or bearded tit, I don't remember which it said on there. But that was an RSPB Newport wetlands. It was a very nice day out. We did not see any ducks. I mean, there were distant pot shards, probable pot shards, but that was it. And the highlight of the day has got to be the reed bunting that flew right in front of us. Wow. And I'll definitely come back next time because we've got to see the bearded tits. We can't not see them. Just, they're such a strange looking bird. What an episode that'd make. But that's all I have for you today. Uh, stay tuned for more drawing, more birds. We just hang out here on this channel. That's what we do. We uh, go places together. Little people in my phone, that's you. And um, gigantic overlord of the universe, that's me. So let me know which part of the video you like the most. And I will see you on the next one.